What's up, Evil Dead fans? Uh, this video is going to pertain to the damages. I'm going to show the damages that happened to uh, Ultra Effect Studios chainsaw uh, caused by the USPS, United States Postal Service, and then the repairs that I've done and how it looks now when it's fixed. So I did make a video a while back, but I didn't post it on the uh, damages. So I'm going to put it with this, and then right after it's going to show the uh, repairs. Uh, first and foremost, uh, on YouTube, check, definitely check out Jason Wade Cox. He made a video of his chainsaws he's built. And, you know, he's a very helpful guy and he's very proud of what he's done. I mean, by no means they're the most perfect chainsaw, but they're really cool. And it's, you know, he takes a lot of pride in what he does and that's incredible for anybody. I mean, he says in the video he's not a not a builder, but in my opinion, he's a, he's a good builder. And, you know, it just takes that, that spark to actually start building chainsaws or whatever prop you like. So definitely check them out. I mean, uh, you may, if you're in the build right now and you have a little trouble with something, you know, he can answer questions, uh, you know, any of us can, but yeah, he's always open to answer anything and it's, it's a really good video uh, that he put on there. Uh, just look up Jason Wade Cox, uh, Cox, C-O-X. I'll put it in the uh, description below on how to find him on YouTube. But yeah, it's his latest video and it's really cool. Uh, before I get started and show the repairs on this chainsaw, okay, I'm tired. I'm super tired. I've been, uh, guiding all day, uh, trying to get people to uh, fill their tags and, uh, for deer season and it gets a little tiresome. Um, but this has been bugging me. Some of you, if you live in, live in the United States, or even if you don't, you know that we have midterm elections coming up. And whether you vote for Republicans or Democrats, I don't care. I'm independent. I vote for whoever, in my opinion, has my best interests or interests, whatever, and uh, or to the common being of people. Uh, <clears throat> but it, this has been the most stupid, wasteful, damn midterm election I've ever seen. Okay, number one, I'm so sick of these flyers showing up in my mailbox like 10 of them at a time every day i don't care who you are i know who you are and don't stick crap in my door i don't want none of that crap in my house in my house it's a waste you're i mean we're in an age everything's viral i mean nobody even buys movies anymore they just download them why do i want a bunch of these things all over my house i mean they go straight from my mailbox to the trash period it's like okay this this dump it and then you got other people, they go door to door, and it's either something that goes like this. Hi, we're here to, to we just want to, we're taking a little census on uh, who you're going to vote for this year. Uh, none of your damn business, first and foremost, uh, because it's anonymous every time you vote. The only people that know you voted is the little counter thing that counts your votes. So none of your damn business who I'm voting for, number one. And I don't care who you represent because I've already decided who I'm gonna vote for, and if I haven't, I'll figure that out for myself. It's not very hard to figure out what these people, what, who's running, what their ideals are. I mean, it's, it's basic, it's like pure, pure Republican now, or it's pure Democrat, and it's, it's crazy, and it just drives me nuts. I vote both ways, because I just, you know, I'm independent. I, I don't let either party suggest on who I vote for. And I think that's bullshit that some people vote strictly one way or the other. Really be, be independent and do your own research and think for yourself. Not let a group of people tell you what you think you should do. Uh, but yeah, it's, and if I want to find out about these people, I can just look them up on the internet. I don't need these stupid pamphlets. I mean, there's one guy, he's running, and there's one of his pamphlets on the floor now, and he was kind of a dick. Our senator here, he I met him before. He was kind of a dick. And, you know, we were standing at a buffet line for a fundraiser for him. He was kind of a dick to me, but I still voted for him because I liked him. But it drives me nuts. It, the whole thing, I don't, I don't want these stupid pieces of paper. Don't come to my door because I don't want to talk to you. It, just leave me alone. I'll vote for whoever the heck I want to vote for. So, and I know a million other people are, are uh, fed up and tired of this uh some people they're really into it and they're doing the whole fundraisers and they're going door to door <sighs> to be honest that door-to-door -door stuff is a waste 
of time and effort and energy because people already know who they're going to vote for. There's not somebody just sitting on their couch going, hmm, I really don't know who I'm going to vote for today. Hmm, I'm really unsure. No, it, people know. It's very cut and dry. Most people are either one side or they're, or they're the other. Or you got independent people like me who just will we'll go through our own facts. We'll find out for ourselves because that's the only real way of doing it. Because if you talk to one person from one side of the party, they'll say all the good shit and say bad shit about the other stuff. Sorry about cussing. And the other side will do the exact same thing. So it's just stupid. Uh, I just wanted to vent about that because I am so... Sick and tired of these stupid cardboard pamphlets in my mailbox. Like, like I'll have like one letter or bill or something, and the rest is just cardboard. It's just a waste of trees, man. It, we don't need that anymore. We don't have to do that. Stop going door to door. And I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody driving around in an old 50s pickup with a megaphone. Vote for this person with a flatbed truck with a some lady has a pig on a leash and something stupid like that. Some, you know... Somebody like off of Old Brother where art thou where some dude has like a broom he's sweeping off the back of the flatbed. I'm surprised we ain't seen that already or lately. So yeah, I'm, I'm done with that midterm election, election crap. I am going to go vote. I do it because that's my right to vote. So uh, I definitely do exercise that. Um, so with that being said, definitely check out Jason Waycox on YouTube. Uh, and with that being said, I'm going to show the video of the damages. Then I'll come right back after that video with the uh, repairs that I've done. Hey, Evil Dead fans, uh, here's a video of the damage that was done by the USPS shipping uh, on the chainsaw that I sent out to uh, UltraFX Studios. <clears throat> now, he did a little bit of fixing, not much, just a little bit of adjustment. This cuff on the original pictures he sent me, this side was further pushed, pitched, or, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, pushed in. And, and as you can see, this is still kind of messed up. And then also on the bottom, you can see that one piece is bent to hell. <clears throat> and also, the top has been separated from the body over here. It's all cracked all the way up to here. Just completely separated. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, you can see, kind of see, that the bar bracket is kind of bent up in the back. So what it does with the chainsaw bar, when installed, <clears throat> it actually angles in this way rather than being straight. So what I'm gonna have to do is take it completely apart. Uh, the inner pad, I'm gonna have to somehow get that off to remove the inside bracket and rebend it, put it back in, put all that stuff back together on the inside. Make two new cuff attachments, get this sitting straight, and then reattach this top with some new epoxy. <clears throat> Luckily, no, the paint was messed up, so it's going to be an easy fix, even though this has been separated. Easy fix. Uh, what might have happened is the way it was sitting in a box, in the box, it was full of bubble wrap and uh, packing peanuts, and I sat it at an angle in the box so it had, you know, more than enough room in it. So what they did with this end facing kind of at a corner, they shoved it in wherever they were packing into. They shoved it in, kinking in this other corner over here where the chainsaw bar is, creating enough tension to where this chainsaw bar is bowing in and this side is being pushed in this way that it actually bent the chainsaw bar bracket and it cracked this completely uh, off from the body the body to the top. So that's what happened <clears throat> with the uh, USPS shipping. It's ridiculous that something had that much tension against it to actually break it like that. It's ridiculous. That is just really crappy packing and handling of any package, to be honest with you. But I will be able to fix it, no problem. I'm actually gonna get started on it here in just two seconds. But yeah, that's, that's what happened. I mean, <clears throat> I just can't believe it. Oh, and also another thing, when it broke here, it put enough tension, it actually busted this end apart from itself. So that's going to be the last thing I fix. It's going to be an easy fix too, but I just, I can't believe it. That epoxy is one of the strongest epoxies that you can buy. And it just boggles my mind that it actually busted that. There had to be a lot of tension, especially to bend uh, 
piece of bent steel here. I, I can't believe it. <clears throat> but it'll be fixed to 100%. It'll look like it was never broke in the first place. Uh, with that being said, guys, just be aware when you guys pack something with any postal service or shipping service that they can and probably will mess your crap up and make sure you get it insured because we're still somewhat dealing with the claims. But it'll be fixed. As long as it gets fixed, I'll be happy. I'm not worried about the insurance claims uh, personally just because I want to make sure the Ultravex Studios gets, gets a uh, good chainsaw. And when I had them send it back, I had them take the chainsaw bar off just for cheaper shipping and easier packing. And he actually sent it in two boxes. So um, on the return back to him, it shouldn't be hurt at all unless somebody seriously just sits on the damn thing on the box or kicks the shit out of it. So just be, just be aware when you ship stuff, guys. Uh, with that being said, you guys stay groovy. Bye. All right, Evil Dead fans, all the repairs are done. I got two little minor things left to do before I send it off Monday. Um, I actually want to send this, sand this down a little more, make it a little more smoother. And I just have to add a little paint to these bolts that I had to remove. Um, so first thing I had to do was blow this thing completely apart. Um, as you may have remembered, the top was still attached from here to here. So this whole side was still connected. I took the cuff off everything like that. First thing I had to do was take out the comfort pad on the inside for your hand and destroy that and make a brand new one. Um, but before I had to do that, I had to take the chainsaw bar bracket off, re-bend that <clears throat> and replace it to where it's supposed to be. And it actually turned out really nice. It's straight side to side and it's at a good angle here as well. And I had to, like I said, redo a pad. And most of the most of the fix on here, uh, it takes a little longer sometimes just because you're messing with a lot of epoxy. And uh, a lot of letting stuff sit, fillers, things, things like that. Um, with the top, what I did is actually attached the top to the side next. And uh, once that was dry, I put in the filler and sanded out the grit. I think it actually looks a lot better without the grit. There's a little bit, but it's not as heavy as it was before. Added a little more black paint here just because I like that detail. Added in a little more silver details in the metal. Uh, with the cuff, I actually found out this ring piece was completely separated right here from the actual cuff. So I had to uh, reattach that. Uh, had to take this bracket off. Straighten it out, then rebend it, and it came out just perfect. Uh, I think it's one of the best ones I've ever done, actually. And then the same with the bottom ones, and all repaint on those. So, um, and then this edge that was completely broke, I got that completely fixed. Doesn't even look like it's broke now. Uh, had to actually re-epoxy that back together. And I didn't have a clamp small enough or strong enough to hold it. So it was me epoxying it and then holding it together for a long, long time. And once I knew it had that hold, then I was able to add more epoxy into it, um, like a glue epoxy to hold it and then put some filler in then repaint. Uh, but it came out great. It's ready to go other than those two small details that I just want to get done. Uh, I should be sending it off Monday, but it came out great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, if the repairs look groovy or not. But as far as I think, it just came out, in my opinion, just a little bit better than it did originally. Um, I like the way the chainsaw bar is actually going to sit now just a little better. Um, I like the grit not so thick in here. And the paint on the cuff, I think, is just a little better. And I like the more silver detail on the handle now. Uh, excuse me, oh geez, um, versus uh, how dark it was before. No, it came out great, and he should be getting it next week. Until next time, you guys stay groovy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, I'm going to go to bed. Have a great night, guys. Bye.